Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing the fifth grade math concept, order of operations. Let's get started. Remember fifth graders, create something that will make the world awesome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when we upload new videos. The problems that we will be reviewing today for order of operations are in our fifth grade math review workbook and it is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. Also, we have the fifth grade reading review workbook available to purchase as well. That link will be in the description box also. So let's dive into the math concept, order of operations. If you've ever heard of the acronym PEMDAS, then you know or you're familiar with the order of operations. It stands for, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P is for us to first calculate parentheses, anything that's in the parentheses or brackets. Next are exponents, E, then multiplication and division in order from left to right. Lastly, it's addition and subtraction, and again, it's an order from left to right. So let's look at some examples. We have, in parentheses, 3 squared times 4 plus 6. Well, we see that we have a parentheses, but before we calculate what's inside the parentheses, we must first find the value of 3 squared. 3 times 3, which is 3 squared, is equal to 9. So now in my parentheses, I have 9 times 4 and then plus 6. Looking at our parentheses, we are going to calculate 9 times 4. That is 36, and we are going to add 6, and that is equal to 42. Let's look at another example. We have 20 minus 10 divided by 5. We see that we have a subtraction operation and also a division. Based on PEMDAS, we are going to divide first. So our focus is on 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Now we have 20 minus 2, and that is equal to 18. So 20 minus 10 divided by 5 is equal to 18. Let's look at a larger expression for us to calculate. But remember, even though it looks big, you can eat an elephant one bite at a time. It's 8 squared plus, in parentheses, 6 minus 2 times 5 minus 10 divided by 2. Based on our, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS, we know that we are going to focus on our parentheses first. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Now our, work, our problem is 8 squared plus 4 times 5 minus 10 divided by 2. Next, we know that we need to address our exponents. 8 squared or 8 to the second power or 8 times 8 they're all the same, is equal to 64. So now our problem is 64 plus 4 times 5 minus 10 divided by 2. Next, we are going to focus on our multiplication and division. We see that we have 2. We have 4 times 5 and also 10 divided by 2. 
Remember, with order of operations, it's multiply and divide, not necessarily in that order. It's whatever comes first from left to right. So, yes, we have multiplication first, but if it was division, we would have done the division first. So the multiply and divide doesn't mean that that's the order you have to do it in. It's when you are moving through the problem from left to right, whatever you come to first, either multiplication or division, that's the one you do first. And then you move, you keep moving from left to right. It just so happens that in this problem, yes, multiplication is first. So we have four times five, and that is 20, and 10 divided by two is equal to five. Now our problem, and remember where we started? It looked gargantuan, right? But now we have 64 plus 20 minus 5. Lastly, we are going to tackle our addition and subtraction. We have 64 plus 20. We are going to calculate that first. That is 84. And then subtract 5. 84 minus 5 is equal to 79. And we are done, finally, right? <laughs> so 88 squared plus, in parentheses, 6 minus 2 times 5 minus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 79. Let's look at number 18. And again, this, this problem or these problems are in our fifth grade math review workbook that can be purchased in our store. The link is in the description box. A chef used one fourth cup of milk for one recipe. Then she used two cups of milk for each of five more recipes. The total number of cups of milk the chef used can be found by using this expression. One fourth plus in parentheses two times five how many cups of milk did the chef use a ten and one fourth cup b eleven and one fourth cup c eleven fourths cup or d fifteen fourths cup our first important question is what are we looking for that helps us because that helps us figure out what we need and how we need to solve the problem. OK, we are looking for how many cups of milk the chef used. What information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is the order of operations we need to solve the that need to be used to solve the problem. How are we going to solve the problem? In order for us to solve this expression and remember it's order of operations, we are first going to calculate what is inside of the parentheses and then we are going to add. So let's do that now. We have one fourth plus in parentheses two times five. We know we need to tackle what's inside of the parentheses first. 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and then now we have 1 fourth plus 10. When we add those together, that is 10 and 1 fourth. What is the correct answer? After calculation, we know that our answer, once we've applied the order of operations, is 10 and 1 fourth. So our correct answer in looking at A, B, C, and D, we know that A is the correct answer, 10 and 1 fourth cups. That's a lot of milk. It's okay, though. Let's look at problem 19. What is the value of the expression shown? We have 4, and then we have brackets, 
4.5 minus 2 times 1.2. Just in case you didn't know, although we don't have the star or the x for our multiplication, anytime you see a parentheses immediately next to a number and there's no operation in between, that means multiply, okay? So our answer choices are F 8.4, G 15.6, H 12, J 19.2. What are we looking for? We are looking for the value of the expression. What information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is that we need to calculate the expression in the brackets first. How do we solve the problem? Okay, let's dive in and solve this problem. We have, again, four in brackets, four and then in brackets multiplied by 4.5 minus 2 times 1.2. Inside of our brackets, there is something we need to calculate first because so now, as we said before, our focus is going to be calculating what is in the bracket. Well, we see that we have a subtraction sign and also we have multiplication. We are going to do the multiplication first because remember PEMDAS multiplication and division from left to right. So 2 times 1.2 is equal to 2.4. Now our expression inside of the brackets is 4.5 minus 2.4. We see that we are going to subtract so 4.5 minus 2.4 is equal to 2.1. We are left with 4 in brackets and the brackets are just like what I just said for parentheses. If there's no other operation like addition or subtraction or anything like that, in between the number and the parentheses or the bracket, that means I am going to multiply. So 4 times 2.1 is equal to 8.4, okay? So 4 times, in brackets, 4.5 minus 2 times 1.2 is equal to 8.4. What is our correct answer? Let's look at F, G, H, and J and C to see which of those has 8.4 as the answer choice. And if you said F, you are absolutely correct. F 8.4 is the correct answer. Let's move to problem number 20. What is the value of the expression shown? We have brackets and inside of those brackets we have 45 minus in parentheses 6 plus 3 times 27. Our answer choices are A, 1,134, B, 972, C, 198, D, 1,206. What are we looking for? We are looking for the value of the expression. What information can help us find the answer? Again, as in the problem before, we need to calculate what's inside of the brackets first. How do we solve the problem?
All right, so again, we are going to focus on what is inside of the brackets. Inside of the brackets, we see that we have 45 minus in parentheses six plus three. Using order of operations inside of the brackets, we are going to calculate six plus three, which is nine. Now in our brackets, we have 45 minus 9, we can calculate that. 45 minus 9 is equal to 36. Now we are left with 36 times 27, and that is 972. So in brackets, 45 minus, in parentheses, 6 plus 3, times 27 is equal to 972. What is the correct answer? In order for us to find the correct answer, we are going to look at our answer choices to see which one has 972 as the answer. And if you said B, you are absolutely correct. B is the correct answer. And that is it for the fifth grade math review order of operations part one. Yes, we will also have a part two. Don't forget, you can purchase the fifth grade math reading, the fifth grade review math and reading workbooks from our store. The links are in the description box. This is Shay Jackson with Height Math and I will talk to you soon.